this is working. Yes, 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 it's working. Perfect. And pause that shit. Listen to this beat, dude. I'm gonna sample this shit and make a rap song out of it. <laughs> I'm gonna sing about heartache and murder. Anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> wait. I'm gonna move the microphone. I'm gonna continue this shit, and I haven't streamed in a while. I've had busy things going on. I was late home because my train was super slow. It was late, and then I missed my bus because of it. So I'm here, I'm gonna continue playing this stupid game. I Last time I got to act two. And I think there's only one act left. Wait, let me throw away my... I, I made some tea because I was so fucking cold. Let me to throw away the tea bag so it's not too... What? Too strong. Too strong tea is not tasty. I'm gonna keep that there. Um, wait, I am noticing that the game is a bit. Wait, there we go. Okay, now there's no like background showing. Let me make myself. I forgot to do this last time. I'm gonna go to Steam. And then, okay, I'm already. I'm busy. Whoa, what's that game? High online, what the fuck? <laughs> I got fucking... Misguided by a fucking... Uh, Steam ad. Right, let me wishlist this, I wanna, I wanna check it out later. Okay, let me play this shit now. Okay, I was in the room, and... No, I don't wanna save again. Is that bunny blink? It's not normal rabbit. A whore. Whore rabbit. I need to cut my hair, dude. It's so long. Uh, up on top, it's so long. I need to cut it down. Let me fix my oh, light as so well. Perfect. Okay. Who's that? Who's that little piece of shit, huh? A teddy bear holding a heart. Wait, can I increase the volume a bit? I hope it's not too low on stream, but it shouldn't be. Wait, let me check. Okay. It's a bit low, but... Uh, I can't increase that here. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Okay, let's go outside. Ooh, look at this corridor. Creepy. I really like how they... And uh, It's an old Fern's grandfather clock. Cock. I've never been the most fond of these. How they tower over you, exposing their entrails. Okay, that's fucked up, dude. A quaint little lamp, quaint little lamp sits on the table. It's a photograph of two people, one obviously taller than the other, but it's a weirdly blurry picture to put into a picture frame. They almost look more like shadows rather than people. Well, maybe there's a reason for that. There's no one I really want to call now, though. I was going to say, I really appreciate how they... There's some portion to the hall, it seems a bit foggy outside. They made the game really unique, you know. Oh, I need to press A. You don't know what's going going on here. Where this even is or what awaits you. But you get the feeling that playing alone right now is the best option. The place smells of dust and stale air. The place it reeks of a place forgotten and sealed for some time. If you've learned anything from your journey so far, it's that sometimes it's best to take, 
to be patient and listen before you take action. Okay. It's telling me to be patient. Okay. An empty flower pot. Cardboard box. It's a painting that these two shadowy figure, figures with beady eyes and what almost looked like TV static. Okay. Compared to the... It's an empty... Why is it even propped up? Compared to the first game, this one's really innovative. Plastic fruit. What's that? A uh, heater. It's unplugged. Loved. Snow globe. But there's nothing inside. Can I... It's a lamp in the middle of the room. That's a normal room. What about this? Can I... This chair... Why is this chair here? Didn't I see the same chair before? Yeah, I, I thought... It can't be the same chair. Let's just not think about this chair. If I look away and I look back... It's the quantum moon. It's the quantum chair from... Fucking... Uh... Oh, and it's... Quantum quantum chair from outer ones. The wire is cut. Okay. There's something in this book. Read it? Yeah. I've been a bit concerned about the people in this village as of late. A lot of the villagers have been just going on about their daily lives while sick. And I don't just mean with a common cold or anything. But almost none of them will go to see a doctor about it. The symptoms are a bit strange. At, at a glance, it may seem to be... Right. Uh, more resemble a psychological condition rather than a physical ailment. They'll just start spacing out at, the moment, at a moment's notice. Completely cut off from anything outside. From any outside stimuli. It sounds like rabies. Some of the villagers will just start walking as if in trance and he head to wherever the nearest view of the outside is if indoors. Or if outside, just wander to wherever the nearest patch of soil is and look down to their feet. And they'll just stare at the dirt. They'll stare at it for minutes at a time, not even blinking. It's incredibly strange and very concerning. It's been happening to dozens of villagers, but it's hard not to get to them. It's hard to get them to the doctor, but to get them to go to a doctor, okay. Uh, most don't seem to think it's anything more than just them spacing out for a bit. No one at the council are treating this like it's an issue either. They think it's just a bunch of aloof kids and bored adults with nothing better to do but daydream. But if you take a moment to walk around the village, particularly close the windows and gar gardens, you'll find a dozen or more people just standing there, staring down so blankly yet indefinitely. It's honestly really uncanny to see it in person. I don't even know where to start with this, but something is very obviously wrong. Why won't anyone else take notice of it or take it seriously? It's and Oh, is something gonna be behind me? No, okay, that's good. That'd be fucked up if there were. There's a noose here. Painting conjures up some memories. Oh yeah! From the first game with the subway. I remember that. Uh, I remember something about like... Um, windows and a disease earlier and like a, a woman outside there's a level of eye in it something about it is familiar to you yeah because these eyes always pointed towards something unique in the first game maybe it's something here no Trophy, but it's blank. Why is it here? You ask so many questions. Abstract piece of art. That's a quantum moon. Wait, let me check it out. The moon is rather beautiful, and present power that always cycles and looms over us, almost like you have to kill the past to face it. What? I feel like these games are really like 
good if you don't try to make sense of them. Like just, just go with the flow, you know. Hey, son, don't bother me. I'm baking eggs. Okay. Maybe you don't know where to go. Oh, you're such a that gosh darn neighbor girl's waiting for you at the front door, so she can find a. <laughs> How about you have girls you like those eggs? Sunny side up, hard boiled, deviled, or scrambled. Okay, daddy. Bye bye. But even though this game is like super trippy and like making sense of it is uh, <clears throat> not worth it, I still really appreciate how they like tie shit in with like the first game, like the green guy and all that. A coat hanging with a couple of coats on it. And where's a basket here? It's empty. Okay, and what about this? Who's afraid of red, yellow, and blue? Well, what? What do you mean, who's afraid of red, yellow, and blue? Me? Oh, what the fuck? Oh my, you're up. It's been a while since I've seen you answer the door, little marshmallow. You've been so sleepy recently, but I'm glad you're up. I came to visit you. Uh, how do you... Ooh. How do you know me? I heard that your memory might have been impacted by the trauma, but I admit the question makes me a bit sad. Know this, I love you very much. That will never change. I'm sure you're mighty confused right now, but may I please come inside? If it's not too much trouble, of course, I just want to visit you. Oh, there's a... I think... Take some time to think. That's what the... That's what it said last time. I don't want you here. You can come in. Do you really mean it? You want to see me? Oh goodness, you don't know how happy that makes me. Then let's head inside. We can head up to your room first. Okay. I remember when you used to be so excited when I come to visit you. It made me feel important and wanted. It made me feel like I was home, but I get it. Things can't stay the same forever. Eventually everything comes to an end. Let's head to your room for now. Don't run away, bitch. I'm ready to go whenever you are. Okay, don't just don't stab me in the back. That's all I'm asking. Okay, baby. Oh, it's Silent Hill music. Like, listen to this shit. It's... I'll be done making it soon. You should go upstairs and just hang out a bit. Okay, I'll do that. Wait, what happens if I continue bothering him with the eggs? I'll be done. Okay, it's so the same thing. This game is like... I'm still super convinced that the developers are super... Uh, inspired by Silent Hill. I remember when I used to sit in front with you in front of the TV. I don't remember what we watched. You had you had my full attention. You really became the center of my world. I'm ready to go upstairs whenever you are. I'll meet you in the room. What happens if I interact with the sofa again? Okay, let's just not think about it. Think about it. Okay, I don't see any vinyls, vinyls. Okay, let's see what happens. Will I get date raped? Can I say that? Oh, look at that window. This window is a bit different. Where is she though? Didn't she follow me up? What happens if I interact with this window? Okay, it's just slant, nothing special about it. I wonder, is this the woman who... The, 
game mentioned before? That stands outside? I suppose every girl in the pink dress with purple hair. She strangely seems familiar to you. Okay, you've been sleeping very every time I've come by to visit you. Do you hate me? I couldn't say I blame you, but I'm happy you're finally awake. That you will see me again. I missed you. So much. I hope you've been good. Daddy probably is done baking eggs at this point. You should head to the kitchen. Daddy? Is that my sister? Or my stepsister? Is it my friend or my lover? I don't get it. It's very vague. <laughs> but like I said, don't try to make sense of it. It makes you stupid. Okay. Where are they? Oh look, it's a poster. This is a big ass kitchen. What do you mean it's just a fridge? A vase? The stuff isn't even warm. What, what was he doing here? Yeah, he wasn't making no... He wasn't making no eggs. He's a liar. Oh, there's a bathroom. Toothbrush. Did you ever really wake up? I'm asking myself that, so I want to ask you. You, s you slept for so very long, but that's of no concern now, I suppose. You're once again, and maybe you're even ready. Ready for what? The story of the spider and the fly. Let me tell you a story, as, a, as you very much like stories. This one is really fun, I promise you. I hope you get something out of it. Once there was a young... Oh, the music changed. Ew. Such a sweet little thing she was. She played and had fun with limitless energy and creativity. She was smart and kind. You'd think everyone would have admired her. But in truth, everyone secretly loathed her. She was so sweet, pristine and bright. Shining star that cast a thick shadow on those around her, revealing their true ugliness. The shadow beneath them stared, driving them to want to soil the precious sweet light that made their eyes ache. They commit atro atrocities to her. Hands reach out to grab her, to bruise her, to feel at her, to feel all over her. They thrust themselves onto her again and again. She screamed and this made them very happy. The poor sweet girl cried and she screamed. She begged them to stop pleading even, asking what she did wrong, praying that someone would come to save her. But no one came to help. The truth is, they all enjoyed seeing her suffer. Her pained expression, her agonized squeals, her shimmering tears. One by one, people lined up to watch, and they all laughed. That's the lady we met in the alley, right? The girl will was broken as her innocence whittled away, yet even as they tore at her body like a pack of hungry wolves salivating at raw meat, she prayed for them. She prayed deep down for the forgiveness of her countless peers, even as they spat on and defiled her. Babu, Schrodinger's cat. Hi! What's up? Hey, sexy. Hi! Even in the moment her heart was shattered, her kindness shone through, making them want to hurt her even more. She passed along among the group like a buffet to experience torture again and again until they all had their fill, as the crowd just watched and laughed. It's easy to passively enjoy, passively hear that story and think, of course I wouldn't join them in laughing. It's real easy to judge when you think it has nothing to do with you. 
But can you honestly say from the bottom of your heart do you truly take actions to put a stop to these sort of things from ever occurring? Did you contribute to stop all the terrible things that you hear about in the world every single day? Most of us hardly lift a finger to truly go out and help the people even in our own lives. So many horrible things fall through the cracks right under our noses. That's the real joke. It's easy to say it has nothing to do with us, that we can't do anything about it, but do we really try or are just another partner in the sin of slaughter? Can you look at yourself and say you really made the world a better place? That your existence has been for the better? Why, you might even... What? I might even what? I might even what? Stop for Oh, it changed back to this... I don't know, perspective or something. I don't get it. Was she gang or... I don't really feel like being around anyone, let alone a freak like you right now. Just leave me alone. Remove myself from the picture? What? No, fuck you. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm sick and tired of just all of this. That woman, Valerie. Why can't she just leave me alone? She keeps coming over wanting to see the baby. Fuck her love. Everyone just leave me alone. He dragged up her... He dragged her up his winding stairs into his dis dismal den within his par low parlor but she never came out again. And now the old children who made this story read to idly silly, to idle silly flattering words, I pray you never give heed unto an evil counselor close heart and ear, and I and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. But what do you even, what do you do when you're both the spider and the fly? Why is this playing Joji in the background again? Everyone experiences scars, some are just deeper than others. But it's from these scars that you truly bloom. Among all the confusion, chaos, feeling feelings lashing out, the pain, the madness, I'm beginning to see something quite clearly. Pain. This is all about pain. The pain that you and I inflict and are inflicting upon. They say the first step to recovering is to realize there's a problem. And the way you know there's a problem is if there's pain. I still realize that I'm very much in pain. But maybe if I can find the source of the pain. I feel I'm about to make a breakthrough. Hopefully I'm ready for whatever it is. <clears throat> what the fuck was that? So what, the, the red-haired woman that we met, met in the alley was gang R word and had a child because of it. But how does that tie in with us, a little marshmallow murderer? Are we like... <sighs> it's a sink in camera full of washing supplies, are we gonna venture? Her music. Twenty percent more of what? I know it's cleaning the room, but it doesn't say what it is or what brand even. Warm nice towels. A mop. A washing machine, a dryer. People line up in front of a giant entity who reaches out to them, either to shake hands or to gobble them up. Here, that's disgusting. It's like that beggar dude from uh, Spirited Away. <clears throat> Give him some money and he will eat you. That's locked. Is it the the gramophone that's sounding? Is 
It sounds as if it's coming from upstairs. No. No. Uh, 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 uh. I don't want to go upstairs, dude. It's backwards music. I hate backgrounds music. is open in your room. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, what the fuck? It's the back rooms. Oh, it's another closet door. It's gonna be a jump scare, I know it. I know it's gonna be a jump scare. Because these games have jump scares. It's an alarm clock. Well, there's multiple of them. Wake up. It's the baby. It's the baby. I didn't, re I didn't read that last part. Of this. I. It's the baby, yeah. It's, hi, hi. Hi, Josef, I love you. I, what? What the fuck? There's a decayed corpse of a baby inside of the crib. It's dressed just like me. Even the chain and the flower are the same. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Oh, you do? You have a bad feeling about the baby? Oh, for fuck's sake, I need to go back. I love playing horror games about rape and uh, fucking decayed babies and Silent Hill music. Oh, I saw you there, you little fucking bitch. I saw you there, huh? Yeah. What do you use all these? What are what are these called? Coat hangers. You used them on the. Okay, I'm not gonna make that joke. Oh my god, it's all dark. Oh fuck, dude. Oh, it's a picture of me. And an ugly ass. What is that? Someone who's strangely familiar to me? Nah, dude, I've never seen that face before. Tell me right now, fuck that. All the windows are gone. What the fuck, dude? Oh, shit. Oh, I pooped my pants. <laughs> What is that? It's a fucking doll. Stupid ass piece of shit. Baby toy? Okay, I need to run back. Run back in here. Did I do it? <laughs> no, do I go back outside? No, it just like respawns it. Whoa. Why is it so fucking loud?
Oh, oh, what the fuck? Dude, who the fuck you? Oh, no, 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 leave me alone. fucking psychopaths in this house like a fucking stupid anime character. Oh, I see. So you're dear Valerie's offspring. What? You're almost as beautiful as she, I'll say. Just the thought of what all three of us could do together, it makes me want to bite down even harder on my wretched tongue to taste my blood. I'm being rude. I haven't introduced. My name is Simon. And I'm so in love with your mother, child. Unfortunately, she's proven to be not very faithful. And yet I've told her over and over again that faith is the most important thing. That, and of course, the brilliance of love alongside it. Oh, and I imagine now how dear Valerie must have felt thinking I'd never find out about you. Excitement, desire, hormonal. Oh, dear Valerie. Sorry, child, I have much on my mind. There's something I want to tell you, something so important that we just had to meet. I desire nothing more than to let my, you experience my love, the love I have for you, your dear mother, to feel it deep within your stomach. But I've been informed I have to release you. Beyond the curtain is, some, is where you must say your goodbyes. I'll repeat that once more, as it's quite important. Beyond the curtain is where you must say your goodbyes. I've unlocked the bathroom, go to your business, and if we shall ever meet again, child, know that I probably shall not be able to contain my desires. I'll be taking your mother now. I hope one day you will be mine too. So Simon... So wait, Simon was her boyfriend before she was gang art, and he... I don't know. Decided to be a bitch about it. I guess. It's a bathtub, just like in the beginning of the game. Will you bathe in the dirty stained tub? Yeah, I did that I did that in the beginning of the game. I'll do it again. I don't mind if it's dirty. I'm gonna wash myself clean. Oh my god, I There you are. I've desired nothing more than to see you awake again, to hold you once more, but it seems that it's not meant to be. I'm going to be going somewhere very, very far away. Where I go you cannot follow. There's so much out there in the world that you have yet to experience. I feel I have taught you so little, yet you've given me so much. I wanted to do so much more for you. I doubt you'll ever remember my face, but you're so young. Because you're so young, but this is the face of that always watched over you as you drifted off to sleep. That would greet you each morning as you woke up. I love you, my dear little marshmallow. Even if others may not, even if you struggle to be accepted, even when you have to hold your head high at all sorts of preconceptions and judgments, and turmoils that may have pointed to you. Or even if you come to find it hard to love yourself, the pressure of whether you're good enough, or strong enough, or pretty enough, or smart enough, or brave enough, know that you were always enough. You're enough to be loved, enough to be cherished, enough to be worthwhile, enough to be given a chance at life. And though I may not ever see you again, know that the days I spent with you were the happiest of my life. You made me so happy, even when things were at the hardest. 
It was you who kept me going, but we rarely are fortunate enough to choose our goodbyes. Know that a part of me will always be with you. I'm sorry that I'll never truly get to know you, to see you grow up to become... That I'll never meet your first crush, your favorite foods, never get to see you. Okay, no, I can't read that fast. I'm sorry we'll never get to really know each other. I'll be in my inverted ivory tower, always thinking of you. Always regretting and dreaming of how I might have told you goodbye. I'm sinking, cursed not be by your side, and yet I'll always be with you till death do us apart. Pickaxe. So what? Was that... Our mother, then. Is that why we look so small? Are we a child? Enacting revenge for our mother. Fuck you. He's rotting, he's like a zombie, he's like a little ghoul. Why don't you show me what you got, little marshmallow? There's a boss fight? I killed him in the last game. One of the endings, I killed him. I remember that. I fucked him up. Fucked him up real good. To be concluded in Act 3, releasing in late September. Early October. What? Why is it like anime opening music? Okay, can I skip this? What am I supposed to escape? Is this music copyright? I'm going to be more regularly releasing things from now on. I hope you guys have interested in leaving me feedback on Discord. Okay, whatever. Apparently, I, I, I saw something about, like, Act 3 not having been released for a really long time. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe that will never happen. Let me check real quick. Uh, where's Feast Your Eyes? That's kind of that's kinda stupid. I want to finish this game, not, like, get cucked by a, by a fucking ending that hasn't even been released. <laughs> Because now I'm going to like have to wait months, and it's going to end up with me forgetting everything. It says Act 3 will release in October. October of 2020, what? That's two years ago, that's more than two years ago. I guess I'll just add it to my collection of games that I um, will have to like get back into later. Oh, well, whatever, fuck that shit. Fuck you, stupid game, fuck you. Okay, well, I guess I'll just try to keep my, be I'll do my best to like remember it. But uh, that's it, that's Feast Your Eyes. Part, part two, not part final. Change that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go to bed now. Sleep. And like make a rap song out of this fucking beat, dude.
Such a short stream. I know, but uh, how long have I streamed for? 40 minutes. It's a short game, dude. And I don't like streaming like multiple games, I guess. I don't know. I don't really have that good of an exit. I'm gonna go to bed in like an hour. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream here. I'm gonna go play. I don't know. Enter the dungeon or watch YouTube or something. Oh well. 24 hour stream next time. I would love to try that if I ever have the whole apartment alone. Have a fucking seizure on stream. But uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go and be bummed out about the fucking game now. I was actually getting really into it, but I don't know. Fuck me, I guess. Okay. Well, love you, Yosef. Hope you have a really nice continued evening or whatever. Bye. Mwah.